Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Have you ever put off making a important action? I have. Sometimes we put off taking action even when we know there'll be negative consequences. Why do we do that? Well, if you put something off, it can actually cause you lifelong regret. That's what happened to me. Let me tell you about it. If you'd been there when I was a five-year-old boy, you would have got to meet my best friend, Mark. Mark and I did everything together. He lived across the street from me, and we did everything together. We went to kindergarten together. We had half-day kindergarten, and when we finished kindergarten, we didn't want to go home. We wanted to have lunch together. And what do five-year-old little boys like to have for lunch? Chicken noodle soup, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and red cherry Kool-Aid. We used to giggle about the red mustaches we would get from the red cherry Kool-Aid. Mark was my buddy. When we got a little older, Mark was my teammate. We played peewee football together. I was the center and hiked the ball. Mark was the quarterback who took the ball. We thought we were going to win the Pee Wee World Football Championship. Now, I know what you're thinking. There is no World Football Championship for Pee Wee. That's true, but in our minds, there was. <laughs> and we were going to win it. Now, I'm not afraid to admit, Mark was the only man, other than my proctologist, <laughs> I've allowed to put his hands under my butt. Mark was my teammate. A little bit later in life, Mark and I were friends in high school. We were in the band together. We loved going to the Friday night football games and the cute girls in the drill team. There was one girl that we both thought was gorgeous. Her name was Kim. Mark and I challenged each other. Who was going to ask her out? Mark, my buddy, my teammate, is now my competition. I asked Kim out, and she politely said, I'll get back to you. I wasn't quite sure what that meant. And you may have thought, well, gee, with an Adonis body like yours, well, let's be honest, I didn't swallow the skinny jean. Okay? Mark had an upper hand. He was tall and fit and handsome. I, on the other hand, kind of had the Shrek resemblance back then. <laughs> but Mark went out with Kim. They were a beautiful couple. Mark and I remained buddies after high school. He would go to college and come home on the weekends and tell me about things, and we'd catch up. And in his senior year, he told me, I'm going to ask Kim to marry me. To which I said, so I guess she's not going to get back to me about that date then, huh? <laughs> but at the same time, my life was falling apart. My father had cancer, and the doctors told us he had not long to live. But my buddy was with me. My teammate was with me. My friend was with me. A few months later, Dad passed away, and the first person at my door to grieve with me was my buddy. Mark and I kind of drifted apart over the years as he and his family moved away. And I was in the army moving from place to place to place. Sadly, we lost contact. And I always told myself, reach out to Mark. Contact him. What are you waiting for? But I put off taking action. And then social media came around. And I said, I'll find him. And I looked and looked and looked, and I couldn't find him. But I found his brother. So I sent him a note and said, connect me with Mark. And I dreamed about reliving the days of going to kindergarten or playing football or being in the band. And the message I got back broke my heart. 
Mark wouldn't recognize me. He didn't recognize his own family. He had frontotemporal dementia. Mm. My heart broke. Why did I wait so long? Is there something you're waiting for? Is there a family member you need to reconnect with? What are you waiting for? Is there a decision you need to talk about with your doctor? Maybe you need to lose weight. What are you waiting for? Maybe it's something as benign as simple as giving your next Toastmasters speech. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Do not get to a situation like I did where your delay in taking action cause you lifelong regret. Regardless what the situation is, you can take action. Do not get to that point. I don't want you to get to the point in your life where you ask yourself, what are you waiting for? <clears throat> Mr. Contest Chair. Two minutes of awkward silence while we fill out our ballots. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.